Look at the color when that raindrop is coming. Look how everything's falling apart. This is why we have wind erosion. Those biotic glues and mentinations are gone and it gets taken up, these clay particles get taken up into the atmosphere. This is why our rivers in the Mississippi look like chocolate because of the stream bank erosion, but also the part particles don't hold. Look at that, how clear. Can you hold it? Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I'm talking with Keith Dennis here from Fairfield County, and uh, he developed this for uh, crimping his cover crops, uh, rolling over them and, and killing them off. With, it's a reformulated airway, right? Correct. I had the airway, so I needed something to crimp crops instead of going out and buying one. I decided we could take the points off the airway shank, airway axles, and had my mill right uh, figure up how to make all these. There'll be uh, eight of these on, on a 30-foot airway, and we can angle. Most of your rollers you see are rolled, uh, the crimper bars are different, but because the airway will angle, we could do that and be able to put these on straight. And it just utilizes a piece of equipment that we already had in, in, the, in the equipment lineup. The added life in the soil that result from these cover crops some of them include these nightcrawler burls. Each one of these we've labeled here shows there is a vast increase in the amount of porosity where the water can soak and infiltrate into the soil as a result of the activity of the nightcrawler. Also, the other ones that go crossways in the soil that mix the soil become very much more predominant in their numbers and they can turn a top six inches totally over in like 10 to 20 years depending on how many of them you have. We're looking at the cover crop cedar planting rye grass. Uh, it's coming across the field here at Dave Brand's farm. This has been a hot topic of discussion today. <laughs>